optional. Okay, uh, in the chat uh, of the web page I'm showing you here, and if you go to that website, uh, I will have all, all the lessons as we go forward. Um, think about what you want to see next time. I will take comments and prepare. So let's talk about um, social media. And so uh, if you click that, you're going to get to the second page. I've got some slides I'm going to go through today. And then I've got a little lesson for us to do, and then some useful links and a download lesson sheet. Um, so let's go to the slides, and you can you can watch these slides um, at your own computer. Uh, it is on the internet, um, and we can go from there. Uh, one of the things that uh, I, I'm really kind of passionate about is that we, as an alliance to Archibus, come up with a cause. So I'm going to go through a cause, a mission, you know, why are we doing social media for Archibus, future topics, background. Let's start at the beginning. Let's do some easy steps, some lessons, and some questions. And so this was my first uh, path to the cause, which is to increase the awareness of Archibus throughout the world. Um, thoughts, comments on this? I'd like some feedback. No? You want, you want feedback slide by slide? Uh, I'll just this one, just this one, um, and maybe the mission statement. Okay, this is kind of branding. So you're doing branding for for the Archibus name? Uh, yeah, the for our little alliance, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Big challenge, Go ahead. big challenge, but uh, across the world, a huge challenge, but uh, it's a good cause. That's yep. Nice. All right. Um, and then, you know, the, the, God, I didn't just spell Archibus right. Jeez, I'm sorry. I'm, both slides are wrong. I, I'll correct that. Um, uh, to collaborate our efforts to increase traffic to our individual websites and the Archibus website for the purpose of increasing sales. Uh, guys agree with the mission? Yes, I do. Yeah. Yep. All right. Um, Steve Polo, I was trying to get into. All right. Um, future topics. I just started to list some of the things that um, you know I want to outline in the future. There's lots to talk about in social media and Archibus. Um, why don't you peruse these real quick and uh, tell me what you think uh, you want to hear next time. And maybe we can wait to the end to get that comment. But, you know, who, who do we talk to? We, we talk to potential clients, millennials, competitors, our alliance um, through social media. You know, what do we use? We use Modic. We use SalesLine, um, Google Analytics, Paint.net, Google Searches, you know, Notepad++, HD, HTML5 up, Font Awesome. There's a whole host of things. And when do we do it? You know, there's time frames on when to do it at Facebook and LinkedIn and Twitter. And, you know, um, I would recommend that we, we do it daily. I do it during the work week only. I don't do it on the weekends. I do use Snapchat. Um, and, you know, where? Well, I think one of the mo one things you should be aware of in social media is that everything that we do should drive to our website, um, your website. Uh, and if you don't have a tracker there, um, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to show you how to track that. Um, we, you should be on Instagram. Well, I think LinkedIn is your number one, but uh, you should go into Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter. Medium's a new one. Reddit's a good one. Clear is a good one. Snapchat, YouTube, and you know why are we doing this? It's, we're a tribe. Uh, we want to promote our passion for Archibus, set us apart as subject matter experts and create a sense of community. Questions on future topics? I think that's great. I mean, I th when I think of who, I think also we're reaching out to people who are going to lead us to potential, potential clients. They themselves may not be a client, but they're someone who's going to help spread that word. So it's making sure the message is something that's um, a message they understand enough to know who to pass it on to or, or just pass it on. Um, that it's interesting yeah. enough that they want to share that with their community. Yeah, I think, you know, um, you know, the web is really a good word. Um, you know, Michelle, if you have a thousand followers and I have a thousand followers, but we only overlap on five, if yeah. you share mine, 
uh, article, then I just increased my view of my article by two. And okay. if Shlomo has a thousand, now it's three thousand, and on and on and on and on. So as we share with one another, we increase our audience and the awareness of Archibus, and I really think that's that's kind of important. Okay, um, so um, look, let's just get some background going on here. There's there's tons to understand. Uh, let's not get discouraged about how much uh, is required for uh, um, social marketing, social media marketing. Um, we'll start simple, and then we'll go from there. Um, First of all, there is a myth out there that you can't track the return on investment on social media, and that's absolutely not true. You can and should track social media efforts, and I'm going to show you that today. I use Modic. You could use HubSpot. It does the same type of thing, and I'll, I'll show you that. And you should drive everything to your website. What I mean by that is if you're using YouTube, you should embed YouTube into your website so you can track the, the views. Um, you should do email campaigns, um, target different audiences, universities, government, high tech. Um, you should know who they are and um, you should ask pro provoking questions so that, that brings them into the uh, article or the, 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 the uh, information that you're providing. Um, I'm going to show you Modic right now and um, Modic is a free application. Um, so here's my modic. I'm going to log in uh, in just one second. And as this is coming up, um, basically there's a little pixel um, of everything that's happening on my site. Let me go ahead and collapse this for just a minute. Yep. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually apply today. So you're going to uh, see how my dashboard has increased. All right. So what I usually look at is this over here on the site. Um, this is a track, uh, a daily tracking of how many how many hits on my website on a daily basis. When I started off, I had five a day, and they were mostly my employees. I'm averaging now anywhere between 50 to 60, maybe sometimes 80 uh, people tracking that, and uh, this is really good information. Uh, so unique visits. Um, you know, how many unique visits I have about 20, I'm averaging about 20 unique visitors a day, uh, 15 to 20 and how many total visits to my website. Um, this dwell time is, is really good. What's going on with the dwell time here is that, um, uh, I'm re reducing the less than one minute dwell time. When I started off, it was like 80%. I'm now down to 40%. What that means is I've got. 27% of the people who visit my website are there between one to five minutes. I have 11% there, there between five and 10 minutes. And I have 15, almost 16% that are there over 10 minutes, which means I've provided really, really good content on my website that people are now starting to read and starting to stay there. And so um, this is just some really good tracking. Uh, there's other things that we we have. I used to have an email campaign. I, I stopped it about the beginning of the month. I'll re-up this here in a little bit, but that's what's going on with this dashboard. Any questions about uh, um, this Modic dashboard? How different it is from is it from uh, Google Analytics? I have both Google Analytics and Modic. Um, I can show you that in in my in my website if you want me to get into the code. They're both just a tag. Um, and I use both. What I find with Modic is that it's not just capturing information. I can actually push information. So um, under the campaigns here, I have the ability to send out emails. And so I do what's called a did you know uh, about Archivist email campaign. And um, what I do is I create things like um, uh, emails. So I'll have uh, an email. Um, I'll show you what that looks like here. So let's do, uh, did you know, let's go waste management here. Let me edit that so you can see it. So um, what this does is it allows me to um, create a, a really nice email. That's what will be in the email, and it has hyperlinks. So when you touch these things, it will go to my website. I have an unsubscribe, which is required. Um, and uh, just kind of a real splat, good splash screen here. Um, so uh, I highly recommend Modic for email campaigns. 
Um, but I also have the ability to create what are called download assets. <laughs> Excuse me. So I have the ability to download things like, you know, the PDF of the Denver Public Schools or Lincoln Public Schools or AI education. Or if you want, I have a lot of my uh, own PDFs that I've created that are downloaded. And what this says, is I can track it. I can, I can see who's downloaded what, why, when, where, and how. And um, uh, so I have my standard schedule of compensations that you can download. I have a, a download that you can have. Um, let me show you uh, one of the things that I look at every day, and that's this one right here. And um, it captures, uh, you know, who's been um, visiting my website when. And I also have the ability to um, take a look at IP addresses of anonymous individuals. So I've had uh, somebody from the Philippines hit at nine o'clock today. Uh, close to New Jersey, it's probably one of you guys, um, you know, anyways, uh, these are all the things that hit today. And then I can take this and I use who is, uh, who is to uh, actually get information about that uh, individual. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is that um, we have the ability, it, it's, it's, it, you can track. Uh, so if I'm going to go back one slide, you can, in fact, track. Uh, your social media efforts, um, and it's absolutely very, very real. All right, let me get back to it. That's modic. So, um, what do I do? I, um, I, I promote Archibus. I don't know if you guys have seen my my uh, posts, but I post daily. I like to share from other posts. Um, why we're doing this is we want to become a subject matter expert. We should write articles and create a blog. And then I have a little bit of a lesson and um, that I'd like you guys to uh, accomplish while we're here. Um, let me kind of get into that um, real quick. Um, so that lesson, I'll show it to you. If you come to this site and you hit the, you can download this lesson and it walks you through step by step. So I'll show you if we download this lesson, um, you're gonna get a little PDF format. And here are the steps. And um, why don't we take just a minute or two and go through these th things and do this. What this is, is it's a, uh, it's how to share a video um, uh, on uh, LinkedIn. And so, if you also don't want to go through the paper, you can do the video. I actually have a little two and a half minute video on YouTube. Notice that it is um, here inside my website so that I can, um, you know, keep track of it. But I will, um, you know, get, you go ahead and use this. So why don't you take a few minutes and attempt to go through this, uh, this little lesson here. Are we okay with that, guys? Yeah. And I can share screens with others if you if you uh, if you need to. Um, so again, what you're going to do is you're going to open up LinkedIn. I usually always link, leave LinkedIn open. And if you see um, if you see this area right up here, uh, you can post a video or an image. And what I usually do is I usually do what's called a hash mark, and I always type in Archibus. What that does is it allows me to uh, connect everything that I'm doing with uh, uh, other people that are doing same similar hash, map, hash marks of Archibus. I then always do a little hyphen. The next thing I'm gonna have you do is come over here to um, uh, YouTube and I look for Archibus TV. And go to Archivist TV, and you'll see these videos. And you want to look for a video from your your client. Um, but uh, I have, uh, if you don't see it, then hit the video tab at the top. And then I use Google um, Chrome, which allows me to come down here. And let's say that I want to, uh, let's say that I want to find Zig, who's one of my clients. So I'm going to find Zig. And uh, yeah, so here's here's an article of Zig. I'm going to start this video up on YouTube, and I'm immediately going to pause it. 
and it's because I don't want to hear the sound. And down here, uh, we have this um, comment from Archibus. And now I'm going to go back to LinkedIn, and I'm going to just put that comment right here. And uh, so now I've got a really nice little uh, uh, little intro here. Come back to YouTube. I'm going to hit this little share button right here. And I'm going to do uh, copy it. And when I come back over on this side and paste that URL, I should get a preview. And uh, there's a preview. And I'm going to just go ahead. And before I do this, I usually like to copy this. And the reason why I copy it is I'll show you. So I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to go ahead and post this. And so I've now just posted um, an Archivist video um, of my clients on LinkedIn. But now what I do is I come over to my Facebook, and I, uh, I go to my site. And I just paste the same article in. Wait for the preview, and if the preview doesn't come up, I have some images. No, it does. So I'm just going to go ahead and publish it to my Facebook account. And then I share it to my two other accounts. So I'm going to share this to the world. And then I'm going to share it on my page for microview. And then I go to Twitter. And I do the same thing, although they oftentimes have uh, restrictions here. Now notice that the preview of this video didn't show up. Um, so I actually have some images uh, that I have saved. And I'll actually show you how to do those images in the future. But I can pick up a Zigwu right here. And I go ahead and tweet that. And then I'm going to show you what's called spoofing here in just a minute. So that's tweeted, and now I'm going to show you how to spoof Instagram. So I have an Instagram account, and what I do is I come over here to uh, More Tools, uh, Development Tools, and now it looks like a phone uh, when I make it look like a phone, and I just refresh it, and it looks like it's my phone now, and I can come in here and pick up the image. Next. And I can share a caption. And I can go ahead and share this. So you can see that in less than five minutes, I just hit four social media media networks and I posted it in about five different, um, you know, five or six different channels. Um, what I'm going to do now is come back here to the uh, lesson. And um, you guys have any questions about this? How how's the lesson go for you? You guys doing the lesson okay? Hey, Bob, it's Wayne. Um, so question is, on some of these things that you're doing, I'm gathering that you kind of, you set up certain frameworks ahead of time and, and then it just becomes, like you say, a daily thing where you just kind of go across that quickly. So yeah. some of them you, you didn't have to set up, but like that last thing that you did was just, a, uh, I'm gathering a kind of a template or a setup that you did ahead of time. Am I correct on that? This last one, you mean here at Instagram or across LinkedIn, Facebook? The, in and the Instagram, the Instagram. Yeah, the Instagram one. Uh, yeah. No, this, this, this is, I just, if you just use Google Chrome and you take it into uh, what's called More Tools Developer, it'll take whatever website you're looking at and make it responsive. And, okay. and okay. Instagram, and this is called spoofing. And so, so 
Instagram thinks I'm looking at it on my phone and I'm not. I'm actually looking at it on my computer. Okay. So yep. no, I didn't have to do anything other than this. All right. Okay. Other questions? Uh, content. I think that content is the is the biggest challenge, right? Because you you need content, fresh content, and original content. So um, I think that uh, this is a lot, this is time consuming. Um, well, yes, and that's um, what my other lessons are going to be about. That's why I started with Archibus TV. The reason why I started with Archibus TV with you, with everyone here on the phone, is that um, is that uh, is there anyone on the phone that does not have a client with a video on Archibus TV? Is there anyone yeah. on the phone that doesn't? Yeah. Is that you, Michelle? Yeah, it's me. Okay. I'm not even so, sure um, it is possible that I don't have to, yeah. All right. Well, you know, what you could do, um, see, this is one I'm, I'm, I'm helping you without, you don't have to develop content. Con content about Archivist has already been created, right? So um, you can go to Archivist TV or, and if you notice a lot of my posts, I'm just going to the Archivist website. I'll show this to you. I'm sorry, I almost hate to admit this, but when I go to, in, when I go, um, here and I'm going to real estate um, on my website um, and I go let's, go, let's say I go to strategic financial analysis, I'm citing Archivist's website here. I'm just grabbing their, their verbiage and I just created my own website and went at it. Um, and there are articles written about this that as long as you cite the source, it is acceptable to be able to use other content from other websites. So um, this is a very quick way for you to be able to create enough content to be able to start to do social media. Now, I'm not going to recommend that you, you do this on a website. You can go exact, directly to Archibus website. Um, you know, just come here and uh, go to archibus.com. I like their products, so I come down here to their product off offerings. And you can come down here and, and, and just take this right here, copy it, paste it into social media, grab a picture or two, and, and, and go for it. Uh, what we're trying to do is we're trying to increase the Archibus name. And there's a lot of content that's already created. Uh, if you want, you can include these PDFs that they've got ready for download, uh, things like that. Questions, thoughts? Um, there may be some thought that this might be a little unethical. I'd like a conversation around that. I don't think it is. I mean, if you look at uh, Michael Willette, he's, he's, I'm not saying it's right or wrong, but he's just reposting existing content. And in, in every now and again, he's grabbing, you know, industry kind of content or industry news or something like that. Yeah, I'm not sure what part of that was unethical. <laughs> um, I was going to say, I have to agree with that because the whole point of uh, social media is that you know, as long as you kind of give credit to, as Bob said, to you know where the source is, um, but I don't think that there's a problem with sharing it because that's what you want um, on any of these. Is to be able to, um, you know, have as many people share it and like it. Yeah. And, I mean, and Bob, the stuff you're grabbing is on like a public-facing website. So yes. it's not like you're going in behind a firewall and pulling something out and making it available. That's correct. That's right. And and again, my whole and our our desire should be to um, get the word Archibus on everybody's lips in the world. And so my whole motivation here is to increase awareness of Archibus. That's my whole motivation. Um, yes, I'm hoping that it'll create work for me. And as you can see, as I went to the Modic website, I can track who's hitting my website. And I highly recommend this. I highly recommend Modic. It's a bit advanced. I'm not gonna say you need to do this right away. This is a free application. Um, you can download it. I actually have a, a virtual machine that I loaded it on my machine and set up the database for it. Uh, I've been running this for about five or six months now. Um, you can see that I've captured about 1,520 names or IP addresses. 
some of them I, I have very strong knowledge about and uh, some of them I don't. Um, but it did bring something very unique to my attention. I had no clue that universities were looking at my website. I had no idea at all. And I wasn't even tracking. I wasn't even going after universities. Uh, as soon as I put this in, I would say 30% of my foot traffic are universities looking at Archibus. And that was great information. I had no idea. Yeah, and if you're, uh, Bob, I was just looking. If you're using WordPress, um, it's actually a plugin out there that you can install. And it kind of yep. walks you yep. through how to set that up. Yeah, um, we, we, I do use Word, WordPress. Um, I, our, our blog is a WordPress blog on that same server. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, uh, you, you, you can do that. All right, um, this is just the tip of the iceberg. I could get really deep into this. Um, I, I would like to hear in the next minute or so what you would like me to cover next. Let me go uh, back to that. Go ahead. I'm, I'm thinking, how can you um, post things in LinkedIn that will not just reach your audience or your followers, but um, there are so many groups that I belong to, that you belong to probably, and you want your posting there on this. And, and, and is there any method to to insert that in? Because I, I tried before and uh, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't accepted. The yeah, you have some groups are, pri are private. And they require you to um, be approved, and if they don't approve you, you're not into that group. Um, you want to be a little careful about publishing marketing materials to groups because groups could could exclude you. They can say, you know, you're you're using this too much as a sales tool. I try to stay on my site and on my, under my name most mostly. Um, I'm going to I'm going to tell you though that um, uh, you can go to groups and post there. Just be aware that they may ask you to stop doing that or exclude you. Um, so I'm not trying to discourage you. One of the really other interesting things is that we should be looking for um, types of things that um, are going to really create some interest. And so these are our, every one of my posts. And as you can see, like the one I posted yesterday, yesterday about Kathy Cook, I've had 59 views. 61 on that one. I'm going to come down to one where I've got, um, I've got almost 1,500. Let me see if I can find that for you. So I want you to take a look here. I have 1,415 followers on LinkedIn. I had 1,395 views on this video. Um, almost double and triple any of my other posts. And so part of what you want to look for is what type of content can you provide that is going to create interest? And this one created a lot of interest. So I'm going to I'm going to go analyze this. Like I re re so up. Sorry, Bob. I was going to echo that. I mean, we, we what we haven't done a good job at Horizon is is interconnect all of our things. But we posted stuff on on YouTube, and some of the stuff on YouTube has gotten you know three, four, five thousand views. Um, considering you know how we're pushing it out, uh, that's actually quite good. If we were doing a better job of interconnecting and doing a lot of the stuff that you just showed, uh, I think that would be uh, even better. One thing I just wanted to comment on though, Bob, is uh, when you put in your descriptions, have you looked at doing, uh, you know, kind of hashtag IWMS, uh, a couple of other hashtags that are industry related that might pull some stuff in? Yeah, I, am, I have started to do that in the last couple of weeks. I'm using things like uh, IWMS, um, I use um, Hostway, which, my, which was my hosting one. Um, I would like to start using other hashtags. I actually think that we might want to hashtag one another. Like, I, I wouldn't mind, you know, maybe putting a little blog out about this alliance and going, you know, hey, the 
you know, uh, hori- uh, hashtag Horizon, hashtag um, AFS, hashtag um, Robotech, hashtag RFC, uh, on, on, and on, you know, have joined together in Archibus Alliance, um, you know, keep a watch on what we're doing in the future. Yeah. Uh, and so just to add to that real quick, um, in terms of the kind of the marketing companies that I've been working with, that's what they're what I'm working on, I haven't defined it yet. Kelly and I have been talking about this here internally, is identifying kind of the top ten terms from an industry standpoint. There's similar terms that you might have people searching on in Google to try and find about our industry or technology or stuff like that. And as much as possible, I'm not saying use all 10 terms in what you're doing, but certainly incorporate a couple of those terms into your wording on LinkedIn or or Facebook or wherever you're doing things because it it might help bring other hits to your, your stuff. Oh uh, yeah, that's a good idea. Like enterprise, enter, enterprise asset management, um, move management, you know, cost budgeting, things like that, right? Find that find yep. the keywords. I'm happy to once you know I finalize some of the words to to share those because again, if we're consistently doing the same words and we're doing uh, Arcabus in the same postings and and whatever else we do as a group. Uh, it will bring those things together as we try and you know, raise the uh, the tide here. One of the Very things, um, Wayne, that I've um, seen, and Bob, you probably know this, is in your description um, when you're describing, you know, the topic or, or what the article or um, video is about. You can actually just go ahead and hashtag those words in your description. And that in a search will show up as long as there's that hashtag in there. So when you're describing it, rather than at the end have, you know, all these hashtags strung together, you can actually embed it into your description. Very good. Hey, um, we're five minutes over. I'm pretty stickler for time. I have a meeting in five more minutes. Um, What's the next topic? What do you guys guys do? I'm going to say thank you very much. i got to run myself, so thanks a lot, guys. Yeah. We'll circle back with no you uh, later today. Yep. You bet. What's our next thanks, topic, Bob. guys? You bet. What do you guys want to see next? I want to learn a little bit more about the analytics that you are talking about. How do you um, analyze and, and figure out, you know, where they're coming from and and, and um, how they're getting there? That, that, we- you're talking about Monix? Yeah, exactly. All right, I can. T- I'll, I'll talk about Monix next. Is that is that okay? Yeah, that was Jane, good. right? Yes. Okay, I'll talk yes, about Monix. Yeah, I'll talk about Monix next. Then um, I will put together a slide presentation and I will post it up on my website so that you can get to it and um, we'll go from there. All right. Thank you. Well, thank you. Feel free to come back to the website anytime. Appreciate it. Thanks. Bye-bye. Wonderful. Bye. Bye. Okay.